So we have seen how we can derive a simple model to estimate mass divisivity in gases from things like the molecular size, the molecular weight, the temperature and the pressure. But what about diffusivity of heat and diffusivity of momentum? Is there any relation between these three different diffusivities? Yeah, there is. And to understand why, we need to think about what are the processes behind diffusion of mass, heat and momentum. For mass to diffuse, molecules over here need to move over there, right? That's the only way. So only mixing of molecules is the only way mass diffusivity can happen or mass diffusion can happen. But what about heat? What is heat? Well, temperature is a measure of the average velocity. That we saw from the gas theory, the kinetic gas theory, that there is a link between the average velocity and the temperature. So a gas with a low veloc velocity has a low temperature and a gas with large velocities have a large temperature. So if these molecules over here move over there, yeah, then we have transfer of heat. So mixing is still one process, but there is another one because two molecules might collide. And if this molecule here has a large velocity and this one has a small one, the velocity can be transferred from one to the other. So you have mixing of molecules and you have transfer of velocity from one to the other. And similarly for momentum, the difference between the velocity we talk about when we talk about heat and the velocity we talk about when we talk about momentum is that we then have a velocity with a general direction. If you take the average direction of everything, if you have momentum, then it has a certain direction. If there is just random and the average is zero, then the momentum is zero. We won't deal so much with momentum in this course because that is a lot more complicated than heat and mass. But still, with momentum transfer is mixing of molecules and also collision. How fast is the diffusive transport? Well, we earlier saw the fixed first law for mass diffusion. So mass diffusivity times the concentration gradient. But you can write down similar equations for heat. Then you have the temperature gradient. And for momentum, like this. We will now turn to dimensionless groups of dimensionless numbers. You might have heard of the Reynolds number before, which is one dimensionless unit. And dimensionless units are good because they can tell us things about the relation between different things. Uh, with dimensionless units, then uh, dimensionless numbers, we don't need to care if you measured something in centimeters or inches. This rearranging of, of parameters into something dimensionless makes it more general. And we will here define three different dimensionless numbers, Prandtl's number, Schmidt's number and Lewis number. Prandtl's number uh, is per definition and the definition is written colon equals. The Prandtl number is the viscosity divided by the heat diffusivity. Schmidt's number is the viscosity divided by the mass diffusivity and Lewis number is the Schmidt number divided by the Prandtl number or the thermal diffusivity divided by with the mass diffusivity. So what do we have here? We have the kinematic viscosity, we have the thermal diffusivity, and we can rearrange that as well uh, because the kinematic viscosity can be translated into the dynamic viscosity and the thermal diffusivity can be translated to the th thermal conductivity and then you get this equation here and in the next you have the density there the rho and the dab that's the mass diffusivity then right okay so remember uh, for mass heat and momentum you all have 
mixing of molecules. But you also have this transfer of molecular velocity and transfer of linear momentum when it comes to momentum. For an ideal gas, there should be no interactions between the molecules apart from them colliding. So it should be actually only mixing of molecules. Nothing should happen when they collide. This molecule should have the same velocity before and after the collision. Uh, so mass, heat and momentum should be transferred in the same way. So Prantl, Schmidt and Lewis number should be one for an ideal gas. But if they're one, then we can actually translate one to the other. Uh, we can translate the diffusivity into a heat conductivity or a, a heat diffusivity, and we can translate the diffusivity into a viscosity. And then we get this equation. And these equations are all bad uh, because we started out with something bad and then on top of that we took the assumption that we have an ideal gas which might be okay in certain situations but in other situations not. So these are the equations you get if you make these assumptions. In the next video we will look at an advanced model and what equations you then get for heat conductivity for dynamic viscosity and mass diffusivity.